What's going on everyone? So, real quick video. Someone in the comments had asked me to make a video showing how you replace the front sight on a Taurus G3C. This pretty much applies for the G2C, the G3, and the G3C. The only difference with the G3C is that those sights that you get for those are designed for Glocks. So, with the G3C versus an Allen key, once you pull out the Allen key, which that'll make sense, once you pull out the, the screw that's attached with an Allen key, you're going to end up using a... Um, like a socket except for I don't recommend using a socket because you'll end up having to shave it down and make it a thin wall socket so I will show you the tool that I purchased and it's super cheap like five to ten dollars and I highly recommend it especially if you have the G3C or a Glock um, and you change the sights just pick up the tool it makes life so much easier but we're just gonna go ahead and dive down and take a look at it and I'm gonna show you real fast how to change a sight and hopefully YouTube does not take this video down so first things first, you are going to have to break down your gun. If you're not familiar on how to break down your gun, resort to user manual or search online. There's information everywhere on how to take your slide off. And then pull your, your recoil spring and your uh, barrel out. So then you're left with this slide. And we're specifically talking about the front sight. So if you look in here, that front sight right in there, that thing is the little Allen key. So if you just take your Allen key right here, I'm trying to watch it through a video. So this is kind of step to the side here. So, all right. So you get the Allen key that fits and then you're just gonna break it loose. And there's, I just recently cleaned this. There's oil all up in this. You're just gonna spin it loose. And I'm gonna try to do this unedited. So there we go. That is your little screw that comes off with an Allen key. And then your front sight just pops off. So then you're left with this. And then for this purpose, I have a suppressor height sight here and I'm going to take the screw out that it comes with. And I will say that on a lot of Taurus pistols, I've had an issue with once it's tightened down, it's still loose. And it's actually, I don't, I've shaved down the screw just because I thought it was a screw that was too long and it still doesn't solve it. So a lot of times what I do is take like, for instance, I don't know if you can tell here, but I have tape. I'll take tape and cut off edges around it. And it's something, someone said it's the material that it is, doesn't for some reason like the, uh, like to mate with the slide essentially. So we're not gonna stick that on yet. This is the screw it comes with. Now this one does not have an Allen key. That is where this tool comes into place. This is a Glock front sight tool. The reason I like this, for one, that's a that's a magnet. So it's gonna hold this thing in place for me, which saves me so much of a headache. Second of all, it's really thin, and you need a really thin tool for this, because if you don't have a really thin tool, this tightening it down is very difficult and you could strip the screw out. So if we take this and we put it through, now I'm doing this from the side, so it's kind of awkward. Put it through the top here. So I got it just sticking out. I'm gonna take my sight and I'm gonna start threading it while it's sticking out. And that is the easiest way I've been able to do it. Now that it's out, it started to thread, I push it down and I'm doing the rest of the tightening right here. And now it's all tightened up. And that is your front sight. So if you're replacing it, that is the easiest way that I have found to do the front sight. The rear sight's a whole different story. I don't have a sight pusher. I need to get a sight pusher because things like how it's all beat to crap, that wouldn't happen if I had a sight pusher. So yeah, but the front sight, it's as simple as that. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. If you have questions, anybody ever has a concern like that, something easy that I can make a quick video about, just let me know and I'll do what I can to make a video. I'll catch y'all later.